Well, some months since glycol leaks caused the temporary closure of two businesses in the Jones Building in downtown Sioux Falls. One business was able to open back up and has been dedicated to helping their neighbor ever since. Hannah Eckwall in studio tonight to tell us more about these efforts and continues our coverage. Hannah. Hi, Brian and Sam. After being able to open back up for business, Intoxibakes immediately created a GoFundMe for Swamp Daddy's Cajun Kitchen. Co-owner of the Boozy Bakery, Josie Layton, explained how after the amount of shared natural disasters they've experienced with them, this was the least they could do to help. They've been great neighbors to us. We've been neighbors in this building for five or six years now. Um, so we thought a GoFundMe would be a good idea to kind of get the ball rolling. You know, you still have payroll, you have rent, you have all these things that still need to be paid. Your, your house bills need to be paid, you know, so. So far, the GoFundMe started by the owners of Intoxibakes has seen incredible success, raising a little over half of their goal of $20,000 in less than 20 days. Now, others are looking to help where they can. Quite a few other small businesses reach out, you know, wanting to do food fundraisers, kind of like Phillips Avenue Diner. They're going to be donating portions of a pancake feed to them. Phillips Avenue Diner manager Tyler Hernandez said the overlap of National Pancake Day and Swamp Daddy's need for help felt like the perfect chance to raise money for the restaurant. 10% of all proceeds collected that day will go towards helping Swamp Daddies. I think it's super important that uh, we help each other out downtown, uh, sharing employees, giving part of revenue, um, doing whatever you can to kind of help out. National Pancake Day will take place on February 28th, and the diner will be open all day. For more information on ways to give back to Swamp Daddies and their employees, you can check out this story on dakotanewsnow.com.